Gentlemen, welcome back to another cooking with Uncle Bumbo Fork. Poor little bastard. The paintbrush is for good luck. Okay, we're gonna pick a whip up a little Asian devastation. First order of biznatch. Getting this thing cleaned up on account of some drunken uncle didn't clean it off the last time. That's minor. We'll get her heated up. Now, some of you fellows said that uh, if I'm having a bunch of beer before breakfast, I might have a problem. I'm here to tell you, partner, alcohol is not a problem. It's a solution. Yeah, chemistry joke. You gotta throw in a flat one once in a while. Man, it gets dark quick here. If I just waited a little longer, I wouldn't need to clean this at all. Stainless steel scrub bud seems to work best to bring out the big bits of bacon. And a little dihydrogen monoxide. Every now and then you loosen the drawstring on that moth-ridden old bag of holding, in my case a Crown Royal bag, and I root around and pull out a, a treat especial. This is Japanese street food. It's like picnic food. It's delicious. You need a big, heavy planche and lots of heat to really make those buckwheat noodles. Uh, remember me? These actually aren't buckwheat noodles. I think these are Chinese yeah, chow mein noodles, but they'll still be delicious. As some of you are married men, I'm sure you can commiserate. It's tough to find beautiful head, but in this case, we found some decent looking stuff. The thing is, I would cut it off, but I found a nasty bit, so I've just been peeling the layers and making sure there's no mold or anything in there. And then uh, we got some traditional yakisoba, I don't think it has what a salary in it, but um, we got these all pre julienned and then we'll just put in some fungi. Not to forget the most important part. Grown accustomed to having salary and cash money for them. As such, we're going a little late on that. A little bit heavy on the cabbage. A good general always keeps troops in reserve, however. As your Polak grandma says, no such thing as too much cabbage. Ain't no fun without Funyuns. Can I talk to you like a person? Let... let <laughs> let me let me paint you a picture of what it bliss. I in my dressing gown happily enjoying a a, a well-deserved nap, eating bonbons and watching my shows in the bedroom. The better three quarters, Cruella Deville comes in with her cigarette, puts it out on me. <laughs> oh, yes. That's exactly how it happened. Nothing finer than getting a swat while you're taking a nap. I came in. Hi, husband. Uh, here you go, baby doll. All is forgiven. I mean, thank you. I'm sorry. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Would you cut it out with that Stockholm Syndrome patriarchal bullshit? I'm doing my pink job as a self-identified woman of color. I choose to do a pink job. It's my manly right. I'm so glad you're liberated. Good enough to turn off. <laughs> 100 pound calf into a thousand pound bull in a year. Good enough for him. Yeah, partner. It's coming. It's coming. So he's like some sort of addict. There you go. Enjoy. Sur topo. Prost. Hope you're gesund tight. Ready? Oh, that was a big squirrel. Yakisoba has a long tradition amongst the salary men in J.A. Penn. Of course, yakisoba meaning drunken salary man asleep on the subway in his own vomit because of course that's what it looks like we got to just slow things down remember those troops we set aside in the reserve and we're just going to advance them on the plains of abraham here or hastings depending on your disposition in either case nobody likes an uppity frenchman We'll take the fresh stuff and surmount a, a layer of impermeable uh, malarite in order to put that onto. That way it won't overcook. So I'll just ease back on the chooch factor there while we wait for those buckwheat noodles. And this stuff, luckily they put the flavor right on the can. Jesus, must be cheap because it sure ain't good. As my wife says, any old port in a storm. I'm not quite sure what that means. She normally says it after once you go black, you never go back. Making my yakisoba sauce. Uh, Kiko man, you don't want that Chinese, uh, oh man, we made the mistake of buying Chinese soy sauce. So salty. Worcestershire sauce. We're on thin rations, eh? Not even buying the name brand stuff. Holy, what is this? Tight night or tight 
Tight something. You know what <laughs> Noodles are ready. Brother Bear's into the mutagen again. Remember last time we had to cut off that other leg. He'd be careful in there. These noodles ain't quite right. It's a good thing Japanese don't stand on tradition. We're just separating them out so it's not one big clumpy North American style pasta dish. The yakisoba sauce has arrived. Yay. Is our squirrel friend still out here? Uh, no. He's in here. I didn't marinate a squirrel. Did you hear the language on that? I am getting a refund from your finishing school. Here comes the magic. Release the schmoo. Now we're going to caramelize the sugars and the carbohydrates in the noodles as well as uh, ensure that the Maynard reaction went on there. Uh, named after the, uh, the musician fellow from Tool, Maynard. You can see the effect on the jacket cover. Our first customer. Are you ready? You no, you hold your own plate. I'm the chef. So, this is yakisoba. It's squirrel yakisoba. That squirrel we caught earlier, I cooked it up. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no, I took the fur off. Here, come, come here. Don't be shy. It's not going to hurt you. It's all cooked. You got lamby there too? Oh, Is that enough, you figure? Okay, you tell me how the squirrel tastes. It's probably delicious because it's free range. What do you figure squirrel tastes like? Chicken. It's missing something though. A few more vegetables. And like maybe some onions. Sprinkle, uh, green onions? Sprinkle. Green onions, yeah. And I think I put the... Did you say I put the cabbage in too early? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Could be a little crispier. Papa, why is it called an episode? If you said it has squirrel. Me, the joke was so funny. 